Also, I'm figuring out that I have a lot of books. How long have you been in this garage office? Probably three years. Because uh, we moved out of a house into another house, and when we moved out of the other house, we moved into. I didn't have a place to do all this shit. You can come in here and look around. This is sort of the hub of the universe. And right now, I don't know why, but I've been. Who is that? Who is that? Mm. Not really sure. Does it look like Rick Santorum? I wouldn't know. Oh, good. Also, at my at the at the the small book show, I'm, I'm having a a, a two-page zine dispenser. So you pull this out, and you get a two-page. Uh, except I haven't done any of them yet. I don't think it's gonna work. I think it's a little too uh, a little too manual library. But good in theory. You know where I got them? Remember those spindles that you had? Oh, you recommended. Mm -hmm, I went through that. there and you had all that restaurant stuff in there. Did you get more? No, well, I'll show you my spindles. I got more spindles. But this is sketchbooks and... Uh, so this is mostly where you do all your work. And, yes. And kind of like... How do you feel like, is it... Like, I think you told me before, but I want to like... Like the importance of having a like space to work on. What do you like... like Even more as far as I'm... You definitely need a, like, a, a, like a regular space to do all your stuff. But you also, I think more important is to have like a routine. That's what I do. I make sure that I do certain things at a certain time. And the beauty in that, even if you don't want to do it, is that <coughs> something gets done regardless. You know, I, I know it sounds ridiculous, but this whole freaking art scam, it's, it's hard work. Mm -hmm. You know, unless you're, you're super lucky or super talented, and I'm not super either one, quite frankly. So I have to, I have to like bust my fucking ass in order to sort of make, make a lot of shit. Not only that, but I have like, and everyone says this, I don't like to work too much on any one thing, you know. I, I spend like two minutes on something and I get bored really quick. How much do you feel you spend time here? Like, all day, to, like, all day. I, I go out in the middle of the day because I'm also, as you know, obsessed with the post office. So I spend, these are like exercises, right? So every morning I'll just like put some paint down. I got all these foam cores. I go into the trash cans and find foam core and shit like that. And I cut them up into little white things. I cut things up. These are like the backs of old frames that I had and they're waiting to go out. So this is like my, my mailing area, you know, where I prepare all this shit for. And then I'll, I'll have some, I'll be in the other room working on a big painting and I'll move some acrylic around and it'll still be on my brush so I'll rush into here and I'll go, wow, I got orange acrylic on my brush. And then go through another book. And then I just sort of uh, prepare pages, basically. And then I let them dry and then maybe not for a month I'll go down and... and uh, so you're just constantly going and going, it's like a... Yeah, but I, I think the only way that you can do that is is by making sure that you're, or it, for me anyway, is making sure that I'm not doing the same frickin' thing over and over. I think as, as time goes on, you get less and less patience with any one picture. You know, I used to do these things, I'll show you, I think I even have some around, as a result of, the result of knowing where they're at now. <coughs> but I used to do these, like, I think these are them these rendered out caricatures. See, these are like watercolor caricatures. Did you do them for like, someone? Yeah, someone? I did them for American Airlines like a million years ago. Uh, John Waters? Yeah, and, but this is like, and I, they, some of them take like two and three days. I'd be sitting there for eight, 10, 12, 15, I don't know. It got kind of, it got nerve wracking. What medium is it? It's all watercolor. Oh, and inks and dyes. You know, the Dr. Martin stuff I used to use, and then I'd, and then I cut them out on a light table. I cut out a background, a Xerox or something like that, and cut it out and paste it down on there. And do you, do you say things. that's your favorite like medium to use, like most uh, convenient to you? Like? I'm 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 afraid it would have to be the pen and ink and watercolor nonsense. Maya Angelou, Wolf Blitzer, Cecilia Cruz, Ashley Judd, Placido Domingo. I mean, I used to do a billion illustrations and they were all like this. But I, now I just can't, I just, I, oh, well, I could. Would you say this took more time than the usual, like, stuff oh, yeah. that you normally do nowadays? Is there, yeah. like, how long would one of these illustrations usually take you? Two or three days, probably. 
That's cool. You know, and this is all watercolor and urine. But, you know, and then I started to get lazier and lazier and, and started to cut this stuff out. You know, this is all, I, I go to the copy place and I put cloth down on the Xerox machine and I Xerox it and bring it home and cut it all up. So, I want to, like, ask about the importance of all the other, like, elements in which you kind of, like, work, you know, like, with all the photocopying and all the, I know, like, like, all the other external, like, sources that kind of enable you to do all that, like, how important is that, like, to you, like, kind of, like, you know, in the whole process of, like, I mean, eating. how important is all the other things that... Yeah. Like Abba and yeah, making yeah. sculptures and yeah. crap others. I think it's important just because like I said, I have I have I get I get uh aboard really quickly, you know, like you do. I mean we you sit there, that's why I'm in awe of like guys like that guy Alex you know, Jew and people like that and who sit there and can noodle for like that. Forever. For, uh, yeah, I can't I can't do that so well. I like to get motions out and that's why I have these sketchbooks, you know, I, I have hundreds of these things, and they're just. just How many do you think you got? Like. I have no idea. Oh there's no. There's like a pile there, and there's piles in there, and there's piles up around. Just like surround yourself with all like your drawing books. And there's piles up there, and there's just piles everywhere. I don't know. When did you start um doing like or kind of realizing like you wanted to draw or like wanted to really like kind of do this at least like. As a some as a vocation kind of or like you know you want to take it seriously where you like made it a habit like when was that realization wow. like I want to like I would say those are two different things 